You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com. If you got questions, <clears throat> I, America's older brother, the world's only professional asshole, the dark knight of advice comms, and the IKEA of consultants, Aaron Clary, will answer your questions for money because older brothers charge the younger siblings money. That's what we charge you for wisdom so you don't fuck up like we went out and got beaten up by the real world. And now you're, hey man, I want to know, how do I avoid that? Fuck you, pay me. And that's how asshole consulting works. So <clears throat> if you have questions, I have answers. Uh, then older brother. And, and it's, uh, <clears throat> it's worth dropping the money, trust me. Don't major in the liberal arts. Why, older brother, Aaron? Just because I fucking told you, now obey me. And then I'm like, okay. Although that makes you wonder, can, can you really learn wisdom without suffering? Because I've seen people, like, you give the world's greatest advice, like, don't major in the liberal arts, don't get fat, this would be advice for women, stay pretty, be nice, have a call, and they, d until they do it the other way, would they ever learn? I wonder. I don't care, I get paid either way. It's just the thought I have. I wonder if I help anybody. Fuck it, money! Yay! And then, then, then I don't really worry about it anymore. All right. <clears throat> Hi, Cappy, this is a video request. I have a friend who has a PhD in psychology. It took her 12 years to get this fake education. 12 years. So, like, college it took her 12 years? Like, she went part-time? Uh, she's over $200,000 in debt, and in 25 years, she'll end up paying about three-quarters of a million dollars due. Whoa, okay, hold on, hold on. Psychology is bullshit. Most girls take psychology. They take child psychology because I just like working with children. And that's the reason they take... They decide to go down that path. But I do know if you get your PhD, you can at least go and teach. Unless, now this could be the other thing, unless the market is so flooded with Gen X or women now. Who I got a major in child psychology. And now they're all doctor. That could happen. I could see where they are. Then that $200,000, even at a low interest rate, that's, that's a house. <clears throat> Why did she just buy a house? Why didn't she just get a house? See, a house pays a dividend called not having to pay rent no more. But she, presumably though still, with a PhD you can open up your own clinic. Although, as is also the case with most people who take psychology and become psychologists, they themselves are pretty fucked in the head. So maybe they're not, she lacks business acumen. Because honestly, you give me a CPA or a PhD in psychology. Look, look at this shit. I don't even have a PhD, I'm doing this shit. Could you imagine if we took my mind with a bullshit degree like a PhD in psychology and I'd be the one like, look, kid, it's all bullshit. It's, it's, uh, no, you're the one, no, 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 you don't, no, you don't have the uh, hud, 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 hud. You don't, you're not a spurg and you're not an ought. All right, knock it the fuck off. All right, that shit ends now. All right, what's your problem? You, you're having trouble with, okay, you're fat. That's more than the hud, the hud, the huds and the spurgs and the oughts. All right, uh, so you're going to lose the fucking weight. And then you're going to do the one to three ratio of talk to listen. When a girl talks to you, you only tell her something back one third of the amount that you, you just, you shut up. And in social situations, by the way. That, and that would solve almost all the Asperger's and the autism's, but no one listens. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> she's going to pay. So my larger point is she should be able to open up a business. 25 years, she should be able to pay that off. That's less than... Uh, 10,000? Yeah. She should be able to pay that off. 20 to 10, 10 the numbers? Yeah. Like eight grand a year, she should be able to pay that off. Although I guess with the interest of three quarter, okay, maybe not. Uh, when she took on the loan, she thought it was free money. <laughs> okay, this is a stupid person. This is a really stupid fight. This is the type of people, this is why we should not force everybody into college. I'm being deadly serious about this woman, as much as I'd like to pick on her, because I'm going to end up having to pay for her. Um, she has ruined her life because I can only imagine every teacher said, you can do whatever you want, you go girl, girl power, because vagina, you can do anything except math, obviously, and compounded interest, which I know that's the one plus N to the X power. It's hard stuff there, ladies, but, you know, psychology, children, yay. <clears throat> free money. Just, just free money. Like, here's $200,000 free money. That also shows, like, a lack of common sense, a lack of a brain. Like, this is someone who should not be a psychologist. 
if you think just just free money no god shat it out of the sky like manna from heaven to the jews in the desert that one time actually how many times were the jews in the desert and manna came from it was like eight or nine times this is the many times that happened all right uh, and she didn't know how loans work because nobody taught her okay so she didn't pay attention how did she get how did she get to grad school then because to get to grad school you have to graduate from high school and in high school they do teach you compound mathematics and how loans work or it's just math not you I just once again cynical libertarian society he knew an English major she says two thirds the same as three fourths I don't know why we make fun of you ladies I don't know why you make only 75% of what men do <sighs> uh, she admits she has had a lie to her students about the prospects of a psych degree she says if she tells them don't major psychology or you'll be broke like me, they won't be in her class and she'll be even worse off because she won't have a job. So let's force other children to suffer the same fate that this person did. This person is not only stupid, dumb, but she's amoral. She's unethical. I mean, right now I charge you guys to tell you the mistakes I've done so you don't make my mistakes. But I at least admit I'm wrong. Uh, her best friend works uh, at fast food with a high school diploma and makes the same amount of money, amount of money she does with her PhD. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's just great. I guess she, I guess the market is flooded, but she wouldn't bother studying economics and learning about the flood. Uh, in 1997, every girl in the Gen X gen generation. 10 million of a major in child psychology. 10 years after when they get their PhDs, the market is flooded with 10 million PhDs in psychology. What happens to wages? Don't know because reasons, not math, not my thing. Uh, the funniest part of the story, she didn't realize she wanted to have kids until, she didn't realize she wanted to have kids until she was 30. Well, that's common. That's standard now. The left is very good at brainwashing young women into ignoring their biology ignoring themselves they sell women the greatest lies ever that 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 the career it's brilliant just a, the, the the pinnacle achievement of the left has been convincing women to operate against the best interests uh until she was 30 she knows she can't afford it she's 35 now and plans to have a child at 38 and she realizes it might be too old for for her at that age yeah well that's I, I don't I know I don't feel bad for this person I really don't uh, because these it, it would be one thing is oh my god I didn't know but the whole in your faith mm -mm -mm, ah, women power strength we know we don't need no man like the the hubris and the arrogance and the bravado and the bullshit up front that they were so confident and they don't need it and now they're like sheepishly they're like oh fuck you and here's the sad thing she is about to hit the wall she hasn't hit it all no guy really cares about her now anyway it's it's the most crushing cruel thing to do that we do to women is we lie to them about the the nature of their looks and what their value is to society and when half the population wants you for breeding purposes terribly sorry that's where most of the demand is and certainly you could become a psychologist or engineer that no one say you can't do that and 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 if you were like guys like you you didn't shoot you know you didn't your eggs didn't dry up you didn't hit menopause okay then this but that's not how nature works. But you girls want to believe this leftist fucking bullshit that a fucking piece of paper that says words on it that you have words behind your name is more important than children or your biology. I, I don't, and then, like I said, it'd be okay if, if you didn't know. But the arrogance that we've had to endure these past two decades, fuck you, don't care. <clears throat> uh, uh, she never thought she'd risk her chance of having a family because she got the degree her fiance well she's married told her uh, your debt is my debt I'll help you pay it off uh, what a retard <sighs> these are not good looking people I'm going to assume I, so like these are, see you can't you can't let her see this video like don't put it up on Facebook because if these are your friends although I don't know why you'd have friends like this but yeah this guy is not a good looking guy huh and what, well, let me ask, is he like the engineer? Is this the classic case? Powerful, strong, independent woman, hear me roar, I'm gonna go protest all the time, and then I'm gonna have hubby with the engineering or the CPA pay for my fucking mistakes? Is that what it is? Have them bail me out like we bailed out the banksters? But she'll, she'll bitch and whine about banksters, I bet, right? 
Her academia friends are in the same position. Good. She takes no responsibility, keeps blaming the system that only cares about money and not education. She said if she could have filed for bankruptcy, she would have done it the minute she graduated. All right. So basically making the taxpayers pay for her. All right. She wants to be a parasite. That speaks a lot speaks a lot to her ethics, doesn't it? Yeah. If she's not willing to tell her students about the drawbacks of having a, a, a worthless degree just so she can keep getting more students to show up. I mean, you know exactly the type of quality uh, caliber of person, a very poor, low-level quality care. I mean, this is this is an evil person. This is some and, and file for bankruptcy. So it, it just it, for what laziness because she doesn't understand where the money comes from. I, I can forgive stupid. I can't forgive evil or parasitic, conscious parasitism or evil. The most bizarre thing uh, she said is that she and her friends joke about ensuring. Uh, their intelligence is their intelligence because they're all social sciences scientists. If they lose their job, they can't do anything else. And of course, she voted for Obama. Oh, of course. Uh, I've got another friend who majored in psychology and works for minimum wage in retail, but she learned her lesson is now majoring in STEM. Well, good for her. Just kidding. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> she wants to take on more loans and get her master's in dance movement therapy. <laughs> I think it's a great example of women to avoid at all costs, and us millennial men can learn a lot from this. Please let me know how much it would cost to do a video and keep me anonymous so as not to embarrass them. Thanks. All right, yeah, we, we won't mention no names. All right, look, here's the deal. Let it, let it happen. Just let it. Look, I, if I saw some sprouts, some saplings of hope that these women were going to wake up and yeah, they say Gen Z is this conservative juggernaut that's kind of... When, when I see women starting to wake the fuck up and say, no, I'm majoring in STEM, I'm majoring in engineering, this feminism stuff is bullshit, they actually have the intellectual strength and, and, and they are truly independent-minded enough, they claim they're independent-minded, to actually be independent-minded and tell the teachers to shut the fuck up and they start rejecting this leftist indoctrination again in schools. When I start to see them value their fellow man and their children, would-be children, more than the fucking piece of paper and the degrees in their, their, uh, uh, their careers, then I'll start cheering on women and I'll start saying, hey, yeah, you know, welcome. And some women are like that. Some women do come along and, and we, you know, because men are actually meritocratic, we judge women and people based on individual accomplishment, generally speaking. Uh, whereas women are more group-like creatures and you better believe what we believe, otherwise you're, you're sexist or something like that. Uh, but until I see that happening in mass, and, and especially for this, this woman's too gone, it's too late, she's in her mid-30s, it's too late for her. Uh, but even women who are in their 20s or in college, if they're still doing this rah-rah, we don't need no man, put a pink pussy hat on their head, and I'm a fan, you know what? Do what I do and enjoy the decline. Just enjoy it. Look for that nice STEM girl. Look for that nice traditional girl. Some of them are out there. Look for that girl who's just kind and nice and wants to work hard and doesn't brag about it, who's obviously not a parasite like this person is. Um, and voting for, for the Democrat Party, not necessarily Obama, but if they're going to vote for the state, no, then, then you can marry the state. It's either individuals are in charge, they're the nucleus of society, or the government is. And if women want the government to be fine, you go marry the government, all right? But they're not going to... They're not going to turn around. They're not going to come around. They're not going to wake up. They're just not. I don't see it. I don't see the intellectual strength or capacity, temerity, rigor, or raw ability of young men, uh, women and men and men, but we're talking about women here, uh, in, in the young millennial upcoming Gen Z. I just don't see it. They don't, they, they're not smart enough to even reject the brainwashing of their teachers. You know, we pick on Calvin and Hobbes. Oh, Calvin's a bad student. Calvin was a genius because he knew his teachers were lying to him. And we all like to cheer on Calvin, but very few people are Calvin. And then when the arrogance, especially the arrogance and the cockiness, like, no, I got a career, I don't need no man. When, when that happens, I, I'm fine. Let them. And I know for you, being younger, it's probably a lot harder. Or maybe you're not that young. You know, like your hormones are all, oh, you want to cheer women, women, women. But after a while, it's just like, I ain't got the time. I ain't got the time. You don't get worked up about them anymore because your hormones will, and you're just like, oh, fuck it. And plus, they wear you down. So I would not have any hope or expectations that this woman or these women like that are going to learn their lesson. They're not. They're just not. And what, I mean, it even happened where she said, well, I'd, I'd like to have children. Like she even admitted she went down the wrong path. 
but she's still going to hold on to her leftist ideology and politics of paratism and wealth transfer and, and, and the abdication of responsibility. She's still, so even with the, 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 the ideology of leftism and parasitism and government dependence is stronger than her, her acknowledged, her consciously acknowledged desire to have children. That's psychotic. That's mental. And you think, you, you know, how do you... Th so in other words, this article, article, this video, though you may have intended it to wake millennial women up, to maybe you could get a millennial... No, it's not going to happen. You have to accept the, the reality of what is. And what is is that we have spent over the past 20 years adjusted for inflation, $20 trillion on the education system. Now, not all that went into brainwashing, but damn, well, near half of it did. So $10 trillion worth of brainwashing has happened. Now these women are coming online. They're starting to become of marriage and dating age. And, and I'm sorry, you're like Gen X. Millennials are fucked. You're fucked when it comes to women. They're leftist ideologues. That's the religion. That's what defines them. That's where they get their value. That's where they have their purpose, agency, and reason in life. And they've been conditioned not to think about having children, certainly not to consider you a candidate. Men are not to be, they are not to derive any value or happiness from a man. That just doesn't happen. So, you know, have some self-respect. Go ahead and keep, keep the line out there. There are good women out there. Keep the line out there. Don't write them all off. Don't become MGTOW. But in general, when it comes to them, I mean, you can read the writing on the wall. Okay, liberal arts major, unrepentant, still demanding government ev votes Democrats. <sighs> See, uh, I, you know, I honestly, I'll take my chance with the mail order bride from Russia and her mafioso dealing friends. I just, it, it's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So take what you can. We always look on the positive. What can you enjoy? Enjoy their misery. They're fat, like a quarter, three quarters of a million dollars. I mean, just, you just read it. It's, it's, this is a train wreck. Uh, these people are miserable. They'll keep the face up that they're, oh, I ain't got it. And, and then at night, they go home and cry themselves. They do. They do. I'm not joking. They go home and cry themselves to sleep. It, it's just a miserable existence where you got to put on this face because 30 years of propaganda and brainwashing either in college or watching way too much sex in the city. And we don't have to use words because they never say anything intelligent anyway. Go girl, I got a bag. I got a Prada bag. Look at my bag. It's like, fucking bag. Get a fucking bag. I don't know. I have friends and good conversation over cigars, but I don't have a bag. I know, I got really good friends. I, we, we enjoy each other's company. <laughs> I read books. She's got a bag. Uh, but at night, they, they are going home and crying themselves. And not all of them, but most of them. So. I, I wish there was a solution. There is no solution, but the, the positive side is to enjoy their misery. Enjoy. All right? So don't, don't take anything personal. Don't get worked up about it. Don't get angry. Don't like, why don't you get this? What? It's love. It's love for your fellow man. That's what matters. Love. It's not love to them. They love their degrees and their careers more than anything else. And that is a sad fucking life. All right. Best of luck to all of you. Toodles.